Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Are you ready to shape your DevOps journey and thrive in 2025? Whether you're just starting your career or looking to level up. Today, we will deep dive into the ultimate DevOps roadmap for 2025. Now in this particular session, we will cover the essential skills, the essential tools and your best practices you will need to know to stay relevant um, in the ever evolving DevOps landscape. So by the end of this video, you will have a clear plan to uh, future proof your career in DevOps. Once again, before I start off with the session, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So grab a notebook, hit that like button and let's get started with this. So first, let's look at what is DevOps and why it's evolving. So DevOps is more than just a set of tools. It's basically a culture, a methodology, and a practice that is mainly aimed at bridging the gap between your development team and the operations team. But as we head into 2025, DevOps is evolving into something even bigger. So you have concepts like platform engineering, DevSecOps, and AI ops, which are gaining traction. Uh, and these are driven by the need for better scalability, uh, security, and automation. So in this section, let's briefly touch on why DevOps is evolving. So first, we have your scalability. So as the business are shifting to microservices and Kubernetes, the complexity of managing cloud-native applications are also growing. Then we have security. So with the increasing th cyber threats, DevOps team needs to integrate security from day one. And this is where DevSecOps can come in. And the last we have is automation and AI. So the rise of AI driven monitoring and automation tools is transforming how DevOps teams can manage infrastructure and also better manage their incident response. So in short, 2025 will demand more than just the basic CI CD pipelines. You will need to embrace these emerging tools to um, uh, stay ahead. Next, let's look at your DevOps Roadmap 2025 overview. So in this section, we will break down the roadmap into key categories, starting from the basics, and then we will go into advanced, and then followed by in your specialized area. So let's go step by step. So first, we are going to talk about your core skills. So to begin with the DevOps journey, you will need to have some core skills that, that are very important. So the core skills includes Linux fundamentals, so here you will need to learn the essential Linux commands and also your system administration. Then you have the networking basics. So here you will need to understand uh, DNS, HTTP, HTTPS, load balancers and firewalls. And the last one we have is a programming language. So you will need to pick at least one programming, programming language. It could be your Python, it could be your Go, it could be your Bash. Now, why do you need these core skills? Because these skills are foundation for your troubleshooting, scripting, and understanding how software communicates over the networks. Then we have your version control and CI CD pipelines. So under this, we have your Git. So you have Git and GitHub, or you can have it with your Git and Git lab. So you will need to master uh, branching, pull requests, uh, overall repository management. This is where your project will be living. So you will need to understand how a repository works, how you can make the changes, how you can push the changes and all those things. Then you have your CI CD tools. So under this you have tools like Jenkins, uh, GitHub Actions, Circle CI or GitLab CI CD. So you can use these tools to automate your deployment pipeline for your web applications, which can be hosted on your cloud platform like AWS. Now, why do you need these tools? Because continuous integration and continuous deployment are at the heart of your DevOps practices. And your ability to automate your testing and deployment will set you apart from others. Then we have your infrastructure as code or IAC. So under this, we have tools like Terraform, uh, CloudFormation, and Ansible. Now we can use these tools to create a multi-region infrastructure in your cloud platform, which will help you to deploy your applications. So under this, you will need to learn some key concepts like uh, declarative versus imperative configurations, uh, automating your infrastructure provisioning and automatically applying the updates. Now, why do you need to learn these tools? So with your cloud native applications on the rise, 
infrastructure as code has become very critical to manage your infrastructure more efficiently so you know basically creating the infrastructure using code then we have your cloud platforms so under this we have some must learn cloud providers so we have aws azure and your gcp which is your google cloud platform so you can pick any of the cloud platform based on your requirement and that you find interesting now no matter which cloud platform you pick there are a few key areas that you will need to focus on so you will need to concentrate on compute like ec2 azure vms then storage like s3 blob the networking like vpcs load balancers uh, DNS services, uh, database services, and many more. Um, it would also be a good idea to aim for cloud certifications like AWS Solutions Architect or Azure DevOps Engineer. Um, you know, it, it's a, it's an added advantage that you get. Now, why do you have to learn this cloud platform? Because cloud computing is the backbone of modern DevOps practices, and understanding these platforms will make you a valuable asset. Next, we have containerization and orchestration. So under this, we have tools like Docker and Kubernetes. Now, these tools will help you build and deploy microservices architecture on Kubernetes clusters along with Helm charts. Now, there are also some emerging trends that you can look at. So we have serverless containers like AWS Fargate and Azure container instances, which are a good addition to your skill sets. Now, why do you need to learn this? Because containers are essential for scalability and portability, while orchestration tools like Kubernetes will help you manage your containerized applications. Next, we have monitoring and observability. So under this, we have tools like Prometheus, Grafana, uh, Datadog, Splunk, among other tools. So we can use these tools to monitor the performance of our applications and also visualize the metrics. Now, the key areas to focus here would be uh, capturing the logs, uh, capturing your metrics and setting up your alerts. Now, you will need to learn these tools because observability ensures that you can detect and resolve your issues quickly, which is very critical for any high availability systems. Next, we have DevSecOps. So under this, we have tools like Sync, SonarCube and HashiCorp Vault. We can use these tools to implement shift left security and also automate the scanning of your vulnerabilities. So we can use these tools to uh, integrate a security scanner into your CI/CD pipelines. And you will need to learn these tools because security is not negotiable in 2025. So DevSecOps ensures that your applications are secure from the ground up. Next, we have some advanced topics that you can consider adding to your list. So we have SRE, which is your site reliability engineer, which mainly focuses on reliability, scalability, and performance. Then we have AI ops, where you can use AI for proactive monitoring and incident resolution. And then finally, we have platform engineering, which is used to build internal developer platforms for standardized workflows. Now, these advanced top topics are the areas where the future of DevOps is heading, offering very exciting opportunities for specialization. And that's about the roadmap that I have for your DevOps. Now, let's talk about some of the advantages of following this roadmap. So the first advantage we have is our career growth. So DevOps professional remains in very high demand with lucrative salaries and career opportunities. Then we have industry relevance. So by staying updated with latest trends, you will ensure your skills match the latest industry requirements. Mm -hmm. And the last one we have is a scalability and efficiency. Mm -hmm. So mastering these skills will help your organization deliver software faster and more reliably. And that's a wrap on your DevOps roadmap for 2025. Whether you are a fresher or an experienced professional, this guide will help you stay relevant and ahead in the industry. Remember, the DevOps journey is all about continuous learning and adapting to changes. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with your network. Drop your comments below with your questions or experiences. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.